Every chair got a reason and a story. I have not built it because I saw a need. It came out of my quadriplegic life. I'm living actually every stage of development of the chairs. Many, many years I drove car without being able to pull the chair myself and so it was always in the trunk. So everywhere I went or I left, I had to get a help. You, will you put me the, the chair in the, in the trunk and then I drove somewhere and there I had to wait and watch, please could you help me getting my wheelchair out and so, you know. And once I was driving south, um, I think for a table tennis tournament, and uh, this car had no uh, air condition at this time. And I was overheating on the highway in summer. And then I went in the back of a gas station because I, I started to faint. And, and then I haunt and hoped that the kitchen people open and come and look. They did. And I said, please bring me some water because I'm, I'm overheating. You know, they opened the door and then they closed. I thought maybe I'm going to shoot them or something like that. And I nearly died, you know. So that's why I said, now I must make a chair which I, as a quad, can fold myself and get it into my car. That was the point I have started to think about uh, making a light chair foldable. The first time I tried this chair myself, um, it was a scary moment because I said, well, now I'm going to do everything alone. So my transfer was alone, nobody was there. I folded the chair, rolled it over my lap, put it back in the side seat, put the brake on, it works, okay. Starting the car, closing the door, strap and go. So what are you going to do now? Well, now I drive to the Zurich Lake in a restaurant. Wow. An adventure of independence. I drove to Zurich, looked always to my chair, no, nothing can happen, I'm now independent. Looked to my chair, he became my buddy. Went to the Zurich Lake, parking lot, getting carefully the chair out and said, oh my God, don't make a mistake, otherwise you die here. Everything went perfect. I wheeled to the restaurant ordered a newspaper and a coffee. And this was a moment which is undescribable. That was the next step of freedom, which opened up a new, a new level of life, of living life. This was a great moment in my life.